As the number of COVID-19 patients in the hospital increases, area hospitals are working to make sure they can provide care for everyone. KTSM 9 News reporter Tatiana Favela is live to explain what plans hospitals have in place. We've seen the dramatic rise in hospitalizations due to COVID-19, but local hospitals say the work being done to ensure that all patients are being cared for is just as crucial. It'll take a minimum of four weeks for our actions today to show up in the numbers. And so we're going to be in this for a while. As hospitalizations in El Paso County hit a record high, it's had an impact on patients seeking care unrelated to COVID-19 at some area hospitals. A spokesperson with Las Palmas del Sol Medical Center sending KTSM a statement reading in part, quote, in some cases, we may transfer patients between facilities within our health care system or across the local health care systems in order to provide the most appropriate care. We have temporarily postponed all non-emergent, non-urgent inpatient and outpatient surgeries. According to data from the city's Department of Public Health, the number of hospitalizations jumping to 285, eight more from Sunday. 91 patients are in the ICU, 36 on ventilators. The chief medical officer at Del Sol Medical Center saying each patient's case varies. I always tell people, if you don't need to come to the hospital, manage at home. Try to isolate, protect yourself, and protect your family. Once you're in the hospital, the teams that are in the hospital make the determination what to treat you with and how to manage you based on how sick you are. Meanwhile, University Medical Center is preparing for a potential surge, saying, we have in place a very thoughtful and robust surge plan that allows us to care for all of our patients. Our total count of patients for COVID-19 has actually dropped since Friday. We have not halted elective surgeries, including the hospitals of Providence sending a statement reading in part, quote, our network of hospitals continues to have the capacity to treat any patients presenting to our hospital. We have been preparing and continue to prepare for the surge of critical patients in our community. We're in the third or fourth inning of a nine inning baseball game, right? And so the more they can physical distance, the more they can wash their hands, the more they can wear a mask. Those are all the things that are key to enabling science to catch up with this virus. And data shows that there are currently over 1,700 staffed hospital beds and over 2,500 licensed hospital beds. Now, the city says that one thing to keep in mind, though, the overall number of hospital beds are for all patients, not just those with COVID-19. Live in West El Paso, Tatiana Favela, KTSM 9 News.